Hey guys, what is going on? It's Warman here. So today we are playing the uh, 15 centimeter Sturm Panzer Brumbar. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but I am not German. So, yeah. Anyway, so this is what we are playing out today. Now, this little boss is pretty amazing. It has the 150mm Sta 43 howitzer. So, uh, I think we'll go, we'll go over the modifications first. So, it's obviously a premium. I think it was like, I think it was 2,950 or something like that. It was something like that. Anyways, so, you've got, all you have here is heat and high explosive, which has been fine. And if you, you see in my gameplay, um, I start using HE because it's a lot better, actually. Heat is more for, like, going for against ISs and whatever but uh, HE is for everything else I love this I loved using that I, I did some pretty good I did, did good work on the uh, firefly which you saw at the beginning so yeah and here's a new here's a new feature crew replenishment that's been up in uh, 1.61 where this tank was actually released so now that we went over the um, things we'll go over the armor so you can see here we do get extra tracks for extra armor on here, which is kind of nice. But we have 50, and then uh, another 50. You can see there it's spaced. So we have 100 millimeters of lower glacius, 30 on the bottom, and then plus the tracks there, which is pretty nice. And we also have 20 mil here with 15. So if you guys think about it, uh, I guess we'll go here first. Sorry, 100 millimeters here, right? Then 50. So in other words, you don't want to hit here. Or here. Um, here is a good spot still, but you actually do have uh, an extra plate here, which is 50 millimeters. So really, in total, if you hit uh, right, right there, you have to go through a lot of armor. So really, driver's hatch probably not a good idea anymore with this. Where I would personally shoot, uh, I probably wouldn't shoot there because effective, like if you're on head-on. I would shoot right here. Cause you'd look at the effective thickness. Pretty, pretty low. So, yeah, if you're going up against the uh, the uh, boom bar, hit uh, hit right there. You could probably even hit up there, and that'd be better than front. But anyway, so we'll go on for here. So you see, that was 60 millimeters. Also have 50 on the side with your shirts in, which is 5 millimeters, and then your actual side armor, like lower, is 20 millimeters, so pretty thin. In other words, you just don't really want to get flanked. Anti-aircraft fire, it's pretty vulnerable too. 20 millimeters isn't really that much. 10, yeah, so it's pretty vulnerable to anti-aircraft fire. 30 millimeters on the back, um, yeah, went through that. 20 millimeters on the rear. Tracks, no one really cares about, so yeah. So through the x-ray you can see this ginormous 150 millimeter gun with the crew around it and then the uh, the ammo here, I forget what it's called, shape charges or something like that, but anyways you can see the ammo types, whatever. So yeah, it's basically, it basically is the Panzer IV, right? So if we, I'm just going to do this real quick, so you can see that, you know the armor X I've told you, right? So now we go to the Panzer IV F2, which is the same chassis, I believe, that it is based off of. So you can see here, it's just eight, 50 millimeters of armor. 20, 50, right? Turret, we don't really need to worry about. And 10 on the top, which is normal, right? Because the 10 on the side, and then the 20 is on the top too, right? So you can see also in the X-ray, it's also the same layout in the rear and the front. Just different ammo and stuff, obviously, because the rest of that is a completely different tank. So yeah, and one other thing that I wanted to compare this to would be the Tiger, because, like the Tiger H1, you see it 100 millimeters, right? 50 and 50 is 100, right? So 100 millimeters front armor, let's we'll just say. So we go on the Tiger H1, right? My beautiful design on the Tiger, this, this Tiger is gorgeous. But anyway, so show the armor here. 102 on the lower plate. I always thought it was 80, but whatever. So that's pretty well like the Sturm Tiger, or not Sturm Tiger, 
Ugh, I've been saying that a lot. The uh, Brumbar. Then you go up here, and it's also 100 too. So, really, very, very similar armor. You have here 290. You know, so, I don't know. It's. They're pretty well armored. They're both similarly armored, so it's pre pretty cool. And it's, it's a beautiful tiger. I love that. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll j I'll jump right into the gameplay. Uh, yeah, right, so, so here we'll we are in advance to the Chain. So, I'm just gonna lower my ammo amount, really. That's probably good. Just only, I only want two gone. So, um, for this one, I'm thinking of kind of just going over to the garden, maybe. Like the bush area. Try to stay with the main pack because, well, this isn't a rather quick reload and I'd kind of need cover for the sides of this tank because it is rather weak. I love this little tank though, it's so derpy looking. I'm just gonna get it ready for a picture. Excuse me, sir. That's perfect. Good is stop this one. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful tank. Oh, can't apparently I'm not really going the way I wanted to. But this works, I guess. Looks like we're not going up against, uh, like we're going up against Hellcats and stuff, so I'm rather scared for that. Because usually whenever I go up against the Americans in this, I have lost. Or had terrible, terrible games. You know, they're all weak, but I always get flanked because I'm too, a little bit too aggressive. I think I'm just gonna sit up here. Maybe wait until that tiger moves up. There's a guy coming up right here. Call him out to my teammate. It's not like I can push up or anything. Might be able to shoot over top here, but it's unlikely. Yeah, no. Shot dropped too much. I don't know where he is, brother. I can't really do too much about it. Got a Tiger Porsche here at 6.0, so. There, that Tiger got him, right? Yeah, good, good job. Alright, looks like that guy's cleared that way up, so I'm gonna head up this way. Maybe cut across or something. Ooh, dang, Hellcat. Not help that anymore. Get foot. HE to a little Hellcat's 12.7 millimeters of armor doesn't really, uh, really need to do much. Just hit and kaboom away he goes. This is a better game than I thought it was going to be uh, right off the bat. I'm not going to push towards their spawn. I'll let my uh, teammates do that. I'm not really the spawn camping type, so... I'll let them go up and spawn camp if they please. I'm going to try to work my way back to A. Hoping maybe I can help my teammates a bit. Maybe flank a few guys, come up behind them.
Looks like I have a tiger following me. He's been following me about, I think, for the whole thing, basically. Which is kind of nice. Oh, now he's taking a turn, he might have saw someone. That looks like they might be gonna, might be gonna, ugh, might take over, uh, A because, yeah. Looks like they will. Looks like they've taken out almost all of our guys up there. So I'm just gonna move up back over there. Maybe load, uh, the, uh, heat rounds. It's getting rather intense right now, to be honest. Some guys attention might go back over there so as I'm doing this I'm just gonna keep skating around me that tiger Porsche is going backwards it's kind of funny High explosive. That was a beautiful shot, actually. <laughs> right, hit him right in the ammo rack. I think we just kind of did a clear out there. Now we just need to recap and hold. I might use high explosive now, actually. It seems been be uh, a lot better for me than usual. Why does that look like the medium tank? Does that not look like the medium Porsche Tiger? It is the VK4501, but it looks like it's the medium variant. You guys know what I mean? Like World of Tanks. You players might know. Might just be me. I don't know. Actually, I think I'm gonna head up back the way that I came from, just because there's nobody going or guarding that way. They're all going the other way, so. See that tiger? He has been following me all game. That's kind of funny. Just guess he's at my little buddy. Got a P61 up. Got to be careful of that. Got a guy speaking Russian. So I've kind of reached an awesome spot on. Uh, my War Thunder, not my channel sadly yet, but reached level 60, which is kind of nice. Hopefully, I'll be getting that level 100 soon, so you guys can see right there, level 60. We will, I will hope to get level uh, 100 soon. I don't really know what to do right now. I guess I'll come back when there's some action.
RNGs there, bucko. You're gonna end up getting yourself killed. Watch this. Here she goes. Oh man, I almost had that guy. Like that guy stole my kill, really. Again. I'm sorry, though. This looks like they did a little nice little holdout here. But, failed. But, so now it seems as if we are having to run up to. Got him. <laughs> Apparently, I. By hitting his track, I ended up killing him. Oops, I did not mean to hit that button. Go away. Meant to hit one, not F1. How many kills do I have now? Just three. It's not too bad, though. Oh, he's fine there, bud. Good call, we should probably cover it, but... Okay, maybe he was right. Maybe we should. Since I might be the fa fastest, I might run... I think I'm gonna run back. Good. Nice, 190. Damn, this tank is muddy though. It looks so beastly. Got some bushes in my, uh... Oops. I love how thick the tracks are, because it's on the Panzer IV chassis. It just looks so beastly. Looks like, literally does look like a tiger. It actually might be the tracks of a tiger. Not sure. But it looks, it looks pretty awesome. I think we've got guys going to cap, and I think there's a comet that just killed uh, Panthers, so I'm gonna come back here again. See what happens. See if our T3485 can handle whatever this tank is, which he could. Those are T-3045, friend. No, it's just me. I think that's our AAA going off. I hope. Yeah, this tank is beautiful. I'm just going to keep looking at it. <laughs> God, it's amazing looking. So now, I think he's the only guy left, if I'm not mistaken. We will see if he... Where he spawns in. Now this is where I have to be careful, so since I don't have a machine gun, I have to watch what he spawns in. And when he spawns, gotta make sure to shoot at the right time. Keep it up and victory will be ours. If it doesn't spawn in the next five seconds, I think we'll be out of killing it. Yeah, I think if he spawns now, I won't be able to kill him. You guys gotta admit though, this tank looks like such a beast, and it is. Such a beastly tank. Oh, there we go, that was easy. It's a very intense game. But, uh... <laughs> Baby. I, I think that'll be all for this video. If you guys liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you didn't, hit dislike and tell me why in the comment section below. Ooh, that was a nice thing. Uh, anyways, yeah, so tell me in the comment section below. And, uh, 
I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.